Hello, chi lifers. I just thought of that just now. Um, you know, thinking of people who watch chi life as chi lifers. There's not that many of you right now, but that may grow over time. And you know, we all need chi in our life, so maybe not such a, a, a bad thing to think about. Anyway, um, this past week I've been spending some time in Wales uh, doing qigong with a small group there. And one of the things that we did while we were there, as well as the qigong, was we, um, we canoed down the River Wye. And um, no, the River Wye, as far as I'm aware, does not have sister rivers called what and who. Um, but it was very nice. And it made me think about a few things um, as I was going down the river. Of course, I enjoyed the scenery. There was a, a cool old ruin of a, of a castle. Um, it was Clifford Castle because it's on the cliff by the ford. Interesting how, how names for things come into being, which, um, you know, you see that in, in Chinese as well, where you get sort of very literal translations of things through into names, and, and sometimes over time that meaning gets a little bit hidden, but if you dig, dig deep into it, you can, um, you can find that meaning again. But yeah, it made me think a little bit about um, some of the things to do with Qigong that we've been doing. Uh, because one of the things that we work on in some of the Qigong practices is, um, is working with the meridians, and in particular the organ meridians in the body. And the, the organ meridians function very much like rivers. Um, they, the characteristics of them are very, you know, they correlate very, very well in terms of uh, the organ meridians are very specifically defined, they flow around the geography of the body. So for example, you know, the, the meridians flowing down a particular uh, pathway in the body and it runs into a bony section, it will go around the bony section and then back into the soft section, you know, which is going like, like going around a mountain and then into the valley. Um, much like a river does, uh, the organ meridians have a set direction of flow, they don't turn around and flow back the other way, or at least not naturally they don't. It's very dangerous and unhealthy if they do. They continue to flow in a set direction and so on. So the idea of rivers is, is a perfect analogy for the organ meridians. And, and we also use other water-based analogies for other aspects of the flow as well, which fits really well too, which is really interesting. So as I was paddling down the river... Um, you know, I thought about some of that and I found it really interesting because we had a guide as we went down the river and he was talking about some of the more subtle um, aspects of the river's flow and some of the ways that uh, there were different currents formed within the river as you went down uh, around different features. So it wasn't just that the river flowed, it, it flowed but then within it there were subcurrents and eddies and things like that, and um, yeah, it made it made me actually think a little bit even deeper into how the flow flows within the meridians of the body, how those energies flow. So, um, and of course, there's many other analogies with the rivers and the organ meridians, the way that you can adjust the flow or potentially divert energy or water um, at specific points on the meridians, uh, which which are called acupuncture points generally, um, which are like the, the bends in the rivers and how the, the water flow changes in those bends and, and similarly there's changes in the meridians. So I guess that's one of the things with, with Chinese philosophy and with Qigong. Um, they, they draw from nature, lessons from nature, and it's not just lessons from nature, the, the patterns are actually there. There's this principle of microcosmic reflection where what we see on a large scale in nature, we see at every other level through nature. And so we see the same things again and again. And so as we observe the world around us, we learn lessons about ourselves. Um, so anyway, something to think about. I enjoyed the experience, um, quite aside from the sightseeing. Um, there's always some insights to be gained from being in nature. Well... If you have enjoyed this video, 
maybe if it helps you to tune into your chi, the chi in your life, give you some things to think about. Maybe like, comment, subscribe, all those good things. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.